I'm Samantha. If you don't know, I was diagnosed with breast cancer last March at age 22. Since then, I've gone through four rounds of AC chemotherapy, nine rounds of Taxol chemotherapy. I've had a lumpectomy and lymph node removal surgery. Then I had a re-excision lumpectomy to get more of the cancer out. And then I went through 33 rounds of radiation for my breast and lymph node area and five rounds of radiation for one of my ribs that the cancer had spread to. I am now happy to announce that I finished my final radiation treatment on November 18th and I'm very excited about it because now I don't have to go to the hospital every single day. I am starting to get energy back and I will be returning to work soon. So there's really just a lot to be excited about right now. So people are wondering if I'm going to continue this channel because I'm done with treatment and the answer is yes because I actually still have so many things that I want to post about and this has just been a lot of fun and also there's going to be more updates because there's still going to be things happening. Yes, I did chemotherapy, I did surgery, and I did radiation, but there's still a lot left to go on this journey. There's still years of hormone therapy and oral chemo, and I know that there's a chance of cancer coming back, especially when it's been stage four, but I can't really think about that right now. I just have to live like I'm in remission and the hard part's over. Oh, and a side note, a lot of people have been telling me that they didn't know that my cancer was stage 4, and I think that's because we didn't know that at first. The only time I've actually ever said that was hidden in a video about my last scan results. And I don't really like to say it a lot because it kind of freaks people out and also sort of freaks me out a little bit on the inside. <laughs> But I put it in my Instagram bio, so it's, it's there. <laughs> anyway, I'm just really trying to enjoy life right now and not worry about the big scary cancer treatments. Everyone has been congratulating me, which has been really nice, and thank you. But, you know, it's kind of a little bit weird just because I don't really feel like I'm actually done. Don't get me wrong, I'm very, very excited to be done with radiation, and I'm really excited to be able to go back to work. I'm not trying to be negative, but there's just still so much more to do. Like I said, I still have years of oral chemotherapy and hormone therapy. My cancer is estrogen receptive, which means that estrogen is not good for me to have because it helps the cancer grow. So obviously my doctors are staying on top of the latest studies and recent findings so that they know the best way to treat me going forward. I need to basically be put into a chemically induced menopause for, well, who really knows how long. It's kind of hard to tell when you don't know what cancer is going to do. So what this means is I need to get a shot every 28 days and I need to take some pills to reduce my estrogen and shut down my ovaries. That makes them able to give me this other type of medicine, which is a type of oral chemotherapy. You take it through a pill instead of going into the hospital and getting it through an IV. The side effects for that aren't as bad as you know the more aggressive types of chemotherapy that I had before, but there still are some side effects, and they're kind of similar side effects too. They just are kind of more mild. <laughs> so I take that chemo pill um, every day for three weeks and then I have like a week off and the timing on that could be wrong it's just something along those lines like I take it for a certain amount of days and then I have off a certain amount of days so this stuff can mess up my heart so I have to get an EKG every so often to check that and it can also lower your white blood cells so I have to get my blood drawn every two weeks to start off and then if everything is going well then I only need to get my blood drawn every month and it just kind of stinks because yeah I'm done with the hard part I'm done with the treatments that make you feel absolutely horrible all the time but I still have to go through these kinds of things that still don't make me feel 100% myself. Now, nothing has happened yet and I'm not on the medications yet, so I could be being dramatic. But there's just so many side effects that can happen on these things and maybe they're not super severe, but there's still gonna be some. So with the chemical menopause, what I'm worried most about is it can wear down your bones, so I'll have to watch that and I could have some pain with that and also hot flashes. I had hot flashes towards the end of my Taxol chemotherapy because I finally got into the chemical menopause and they were just awful. They were super, super severe. Like, I could make a whole other video on that, but basically I couldn't sleep. 
it was bad. And I finished chemotherapy and they don't start the hormone therapy stuff until you're done with radiation. So I haven't had that yet and I stopped getting hot flashes and my doctor was like, oh, this is great that you stopped stopping the hot flashes, but I'm gonna give you this shot soon and then the hot flashes could come back. So I'm gonna let you enjoy some time without having hot flashes. And then I got my period. So um, then I got the shot. <laughs> Yeah, so I have started the shot, but I haven't started the other um, pills and stuff yet. But really the worst part about this is that it's really just for a long time. Like, you guys tell me what's worst. Comment down below the answer to this question I'm about to ask. Okay, so what do you think is worse? Having to go through chemo for four months, so just feeling really bad um, for most of four months, or feeling less awful, but still not feeling 100% yourself for an unknown amount of time, but at least five years. Plus, during that whole time, you're basically wondering if the cancer will come back. So your life isn't that great, and at any point, cancer could come back, which makes you have to do all the hard stuff over again, and yeah. So there's that to worry about. But congrats to me for getting through the hard part. It's not the hard part, because that would imply that there's an easy part, and there is no easy part when you're dealing with cancer. Actually, if anything's the easy part, it is the treatment that I have already done, because, you know, that took me only nine months, and I'm done, and it's over, and I don't have to worry about it ever again, unless cancer comes back. So yeah, you can see why I'm a little bit conflicted. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy and I celebrated and people can congratulate me that I'm done with the hard part. And I'm just really thankful with how well everything has gone because I mean, I'm actually doing really, really well. Uh, the chemo worked better than anyone expected and the surgery got out all the cancer that it was supposed to and the radiation went well and didn't harm my skin too much. Overall, I'm just really excited to be done. So just don't take this video the wrong way. I'm actually really happy about it. But just don't tell me that the hard part's over because it isn't. And please, please don't come up to me and tell me how this whole treatment thing has flown by because it hasn't. This has been the longest nine months of my life. But it's still not the hardest thing that I'll ever have to do. And it's not even if you're just asking me, it's not even the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life so far. Anyway, overall, I'm very happy. I'm very excited to be moving on from this. It's a thing to celebrate. It's a thing to be happy about. It's a thing to be thankful for. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep being happy about it. <laughs> just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you guys know anyone going through cancer and you think that my channel will help them, feel free to share it with them. This channel's public. Anyone can watch it. Um, subscribe to follow along with my cancer adventures and follow me on Instagram for more updates. Yep. That's all, bye!